St. Vincent Island is showing you a shoreline retreat in a natural way. Other places you see it over like Carabelle and you see shoreline retreat against an armored shoreline. And so if you just want to understand what this process is, you want to see it under both those circumstances. The dunes, beaches, and roads of the Forgotten Coast have been washing away. Oceanographer Jeff Chanton is taking us on a road trip to show us the places in our area most vulnerable to sea level rise. We're, we're at uh, Carabelle Beach, which is just west of Carabelle, Florida, and we're going to traverse along Highway 98, which is a major connector that goes along the coast, and it goes pretty much from South Florida all the way over to Texas. And I think it's one of the more vulnerable, important places along the coast here is the US 98. And what you see right here are stumps in the beach, and that is a clear indication of shoreline retreat, coastal erosion associated with sea level rise but they used to be further inland and they lived in a forest environment. And as the shoreline is retreated, these have been left behind. You know, shoreline retreat is an episodic thing. It's caused, associated with hurricanes. And so it happens a little bit every day, but mostly when a hurricane comes along, it happens in a big way. The Hurricane Michael came through in October of 2018. Nobody has marked where that came up to. This section of the highway was replaced after Hurricane Michael. And here you see the damage to the shoulder that was done in uh, Tropical Storm Nestor in 2019. And you can see that it's eroded almost all the way right to the, to the asphalt along the shoulder. So you wouldn't want to pull your car off here. And then here, it's just all wiped out. And, and um, to protect the highway here, we have a line of blocks buttressing the side of the road, and then there's all these big rocks here. And yet, it still washes out in a tropical storm. Waves hit the hard surfaces of human-built structures differently than they'd hit sand dunes. And so the energy impinges upon this very sharply, whereas a natural shoreline would be more gentle, and the wave energy would spend itself as it moved more laterally. So when you have a house along the coast and shoreline erosion is occurring, this can be the result, this demolition. Next, we drive down Highway 98 and head towards St. Vincent Island. Here we can see shoreline erosion in a more natural setting. We're joined by Jeff's wife, author Susan Cerulean. Yeah. So there's an old piece of pottery. Gotcha. I think about from the year 900, some of the states. Over here, we have a big shell pile. And that shell pile is the remains of people that lived here about in the year 900. And they ate a lot of oysters because they could get them pretty easily and they're delicious. And so in those middens are old pieces of pottery and just everything that accumulated from daily life. They used to be higher, they used to be further back in, and as the shoreline retreats, they're exposed and they erode too. Before Hurricane Michael, Jeff had been measuring shoreline retreat on the island. Well, when I was measuring it before Hurricane Michael, I saw gradual erosion and big steep scarps and the movement of the shoreline from year to year, and it was measurable. But then after Hurricane Michael, all the monuments that I put in were washed away. And I can still find those places on the beach. And a lot of times what used to be at the top of a dune or behind a dune is now in the surf. The primary dunes, which were estimated to be about 800 years old. And so where you would see big, gorgeous sand dunes when we go out to the beach, now it's just flat. Right, so and it's flat back into the woods. St. Vincent Island is a national wildlife refuge, and those dunes protected valuable habitat from storm surge. Right where sand dunes had been, we see and hear wildlife, and signs of wildlife. An eaglet in its nest. Its mother is nearby. And then, one of my favorites. Yeah. There's a, there, so there's several of them walking along here. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they like to walk along the dune line so they can see what's inland and what's on the beach that they might want to eat. Along here where you've been taking pictures was the top of a dune. That's all the, where the dune was, all those roots. Just sheared everything off and took the dune away. In the hurricane, the whole dune was washed away. 
and it, it was so forceful it broke the trees off and pushed them ashore as well. So in the next hurricane, the water's going to go way, way, way back. The question is this. If, if there was no human influence, would this be happening? Natural coastal erosion would move sand from one place and put it in another. Move sand from one place and put it in another. But on this whole experience from Carabelle Beach all the way to St. Vincent Island, if all you've seen is erosion, right? Everywhere you look, there's coastal erosion. And so there's something more going on here than just sand shifting around. It's a one-way retreat of the shoreline. And that's because of rising sea levels. And in the 1700s, before the Industrial Revolution, the sea level curve was flat. It wasn't increasing. Since the 1800s, it's been a slow, exponential increase. And now it's at about three millimeters per year. And we expect it to increase more rapidly. And so fossil fuel emissions are directly affecting the shoreline here. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas. For more videos and blog posts on St. Vincent Island and our North Florida coasts, subscribe to the WFSU Ecology blog.